All right, so here's the french fries and the drink. Let's take a look at the drink first. Brown bricks inside to represent cola, which goes very, very well with french fries. The way that they did these french fries is actually pretty interesting. So they pretty much just have you have Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Petit Block French Fries and Drink. And this is part of the food series and is the second set in the series. And this is also mini block number 43 and is recommended for ages 12 and up. And I'm pretty curious to see what building techniques they used in the French fry carton. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so here are the French fries and drink. And if you're not familiar with Petit Block, Petit Block is a version of Nano Block by Daiso. And now if you're not familiar with how big these little Petit Blocks are, they are very, very micro-sized building blocks. And right here, here's a picture of it, of a comparison between a Petit Block and a Lego Block. So as you can see, they're very, very different in their size. And that's what makes it very, very fun to build. And so I'm also very curious to see how they were able to pull off building these french fries with these studs facing out. So let's go ahead and find out by opening up this bag here. Oh, just have stubborn instructions. There we go. Alrighty, so inside of the bag, we get our bag of bricks and we also get our instructions. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And it looks like we can complete it in about 10 easy steps, and the 11th one is to show that it is finished. So let's go ahead and get building. All right, so we have went ahead and finished our french fries and our drink, and let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so here's the french fries and the drink. Let's take a look at the drink first, and I think this turned out really, really great. Now, first of all, with the drink that I found is that this is pretty much just like the melon soda kit that I did with the pizza, um, although they just made it a different color here with the white and the yellow here for the little symbol. And also, I really like the addition of this sort of like transparent lid part right here. I think it's pretty cool addition to have it like that because um, it's supposed to be like a fast food drink. And I also really like in here, as you can see, we have these sort of transparent brown bricks inside to represent cola, which goes very, very well with french fries. So overall, it's a very cool pick and choice of colors that they added in with the drink. But other than that, it's pretty much just a recolor of the melon soda that we did. And so uh, it just looks really cool. and looks like it's from McDonald's. And now let's take a look at the french fries. Now, this was actually pretty interesting. I really like the way that they did the carts in here, and especially so they made it smooth on the side. The only downside about this, though, is that you're going to have studs facing one way. For example, as you can see from sort of this view, we have studs over here. And I think the thing that kind of makes it look a little bit weird is having this one extra white stud pop out. Now, that's the only thing that I got to say is kind of looks bad in uh, the overall design of this. But other than that, it's a pretty solid french fry carton. And 
the way that they did these french fries is actually pretty interesting. So they pretty much just have you have this solid block here, just like this. And it just kind of slots in with friction. And now one thing that I did think was cool was that in the instructions, we were told to sort of flare out these french fries to kind of make it look like it's three dimensional and there's just a bunch of fries sticking in there, which it definitely does. It adds layers and depth to it. And I really like them taking advantage of one thing that Petite Block has is that there's no barriers in between uh, the bottom part of the brick. So usually with Lego, you'd have like these little slots in between here that prevent you from sort of sliding it up and down around the brick. For example, with the drink cup here, as you can see, this little flat one by two tile piece is on top of it, but we don't have any slots here. So we can pretty much move this around however we want without having anything in the way. So I really like them taking advantage of that one thing that they have with their bricks, having us flare out these french fries. And now one thing that I did kind of find that's a little bit frustrating is that these are all supported on this one little piece right here. And basically this makes it so each little piece or french fry can come out like this which is not really good because there's nothing supporting it together on the front that makes it solid. And also when you put it in, since there's studs here, I had a little bit of trouble sort of slotting it in, as you can see. It doesn't go in as smooth because there's studs on one side. But once you flare it out, it looks really, really nice. And so I thought that was pretty interesting that they chose this design and it turned out really well. And that's all I have to say for the French fries and drink. Just a really, really cute, smaller petite block build. And I just really like the choice of colors and building technique. So that was my review of the Daiso Petite Block French Fries and Drinks. And I gotta say, this was a pretty quick, easy, and fun kit to build. And I'd recommend this to pretty much everyone. It was very easy to build. And as well, it looks really great. And to anybody who's a fan of fast food or French fries and drinks, this is the kit for you. And in fact, I think I know two people who would really enjoy this kit. One of them would be my sister, Kira. She would definitely love this french fry carton because she loves eating french fries and her online alias is Tiny Tater Tot. So she really likes potato related things. And also my mom, she would really love this drink as well because every night she comes home with a big cup of soda that looks just like this. And I think she'll appreciate that on her desk. And my sister, Kira or Tiny Tater Tot will also love this on her desk while she's gaming too. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And also, I made a really, really tiny french fry carton as well as a little bonus build. Now, if you're not familiar with my little bonus builds, I usually make them out of these spare pieces and these little petite block kits. And unfortunately, I didn't have enough pieces to build a miniature drink, but I was able to make a little miniature french fry carton that has two measly french fries. And this kind of reminds me of like a french fry bag that you would get in like a Happy Meal or a Kids Meal. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to be notified first to know when my video uploads, be sure to hit the bell notification. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!